Hey everybody, it's uh, Paul for On The Airplanes again. This is uh, my third video, just another update on the Project Lisbon Airport uh, 1400 scale. Now I'm just going to go ahead and just show you um, what I've been doing as far as uh, putting it all together. So I uh, purchased boards at Home Depot. They're about uh, two feet by four feet, it looks like. Uh, no, not even. And the three feet by one and a half, it looks. Let's say these boards here. So the first three, there's one, one, two, three. And then this one is uh, more like a two by three. Um, so that's one and a half by three, two by three. And that's uh, just, that's just to make um, or to accommodate the entire collection uh, for this airport. So as you can see, I've already started painting it. I put it together uh, to put all the boards together. I got two by twos with this up here like so and okay stay good so here's the two by twos that are holding everything together nice and flush i put three to give it way more stability and uh, basically i've left myself an option to make it into a table later on i'm going to put uh, some more two by two here here on the corners and then uh, probably going to make uh, some uh, posts stick out so it could stand about uh, About four feet off the ground should be good for a standard model or the, the height of any really table uh, Would work, but that's up to choice anyway, um What I had to do is create a tunnel for my infield uh, If you looked at the previous video you saw the planes were laid out here and here This is an infield part of Lisbon Airport. There's gonna be the l 10 11s parked here the uh, A340s, 747s all around here, here are the smaller aircraft. But anyway, for um, ground vehicles to get there without having to call uh, ground uh, uh, control every time, um, most airports have a, a tunnel system. Uh, I know Toronto Pearson has one uh, where you can get into the infield without having to go through uh, air traffic control and impede um, a busy traffic day. So I had to um, basically file this out that i took an edge of the of the board and i tried to file it to the right angle um it took a long time I'm not gonna lie this was about uh i would say 45 minutes to an hour of solid just constantly grinding to just to get that groove but uh, basically the tunnel is going to be like right here vehicles will come out from here now in the actual lisbon airport the tunnel is not that long it only it would like end right here and then a road would come around like this now the challenge it's going to be very challenging to make a, a tunnel on this side so i've decided just to just to pretend that the tunnel just keeps going <laughs> straight to the end here and there will be a corridor here um, that's out of view for the airport but uh, again my my airport that's uh, you know, I'd like to do it as close to the real Lisbon Airport, but it's uh, it's pretty tar it's pretty hard. It's a very complex um, airport to build. So anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. And uh, right now, I got my grinder here or sander, I should say. I'm going to use uh, 150 coarse sandpaper. This stuff you can pick up at any hardware store. It gives a pretty nice finish. Now I've already spray painted like i said it ran out over here so i'm gonna have to buy some more paint but uh over here it gets really rough uh, i don't like the rough patches it's not gonna be good for the models um now models obviously are gonna be stationary this isn't a toy or anything it's just uh, for display but even then you still want to have nice smooth services um in between coats and uh basically the goal is to make it look as um as real as possible but anyway, I'm going to get started on the sanding. <laughs> 